Good morning everyone. It's day three and uh, it looks promising. Towards the end of the year 2021, after the COVID aftermath, Udit and I wanted to plan some adventures around base jumping. Siddharth also wanted to film our jumps with his FPV drone. And so we decided to do a 10-day trip where we would first go to Ami Valley and jump off paramotors with Vijay Singh. Post that, we would head to Konkankara and base jump off the mountain. This is the part one of the series. Ambi Valley has a private airstrip and we were invited for some jumps from paramotors by our dear friend Mr. Vijay Sethi. Hey, morning everyone, this is Sajid and with me I have Sid, also known as FPV Sid and the one and only Odit Thapa. <laughs> and we are headed on a road trip to Ambi Valley. It's going to be super sick. That's Ronavla for you. In Ambi Valley, we are going to be catching up with some of our uh, flying brethren, which includes Mr. Vijay Sethi, and uh, he's the same guy with whom we uh, did the first paramotor jump in Ahmednagar. And now we will be jumping in Ambi Valley, which is going to be a first for us and for jumping of paramotors out there. And for Sid, who's going to be Whee! chasing us Whee! with his FPV. So we're all super stoked. Uh, we have a big bunch that's meeting us over there, so it should be pretty crazy. Let's see how it goes. Hey, morning. It's day two, uh, November 21st. I woke up at 6, it's almost 8 now, um, it was a bit windy so we couldn't go out and uh, Udit is still asleep but let's see I don't think any jumps will happen today. Um, yeah it's a bit windy and gusty so that's a no go for us. Uh, this is such a cool place. This is Ambi Valley in Lonavla. It's amazing. I think in the night there are monkeys over here other than us. Yeah. It was a slow day and we spent some time around the city daily dallying our time. The winds had really picked up that day and we had no hopes of jumping. Good morning everyone. It's day three and uh, it looks promising. Uh, the winds are almost nil. Uh, there's just a bit of mist which should clear away pretty soon. And uh, this time Udit is going first usually. I take charge but then uh, I'm like hey you know what, let's have fun. Um, the machine is getting ready over here. So they're doing all the pre-flight checks right now. The machine is known as a Hammer Shoot. It's designed by Aeroshoot International. The wing or the canopy of this machine is very much similar to what uh, skydivers use. It's, uh, uh, I mean, the design and the shape. And because the machine has thrust, uh, the whole thing flies. Similar to a PPG, but then those wings are a bit more sensitive to turbulent weather. Welcome 
So when I'm stood up only I can tell you. Okay, like that. No, what do you prefer? I'll take five seconds to stand up. You'll take. Uh, then tell me thirty, uh, twenty seconds ago, tw thirty seconds ago. I'll 30. be nearby only. Don't worry. I won't be too far. Okay. As soon as you're about to, then I'll just fix my frame in front. Yeah. Okay. okay. All clear. Just a minute. Have fun, guys. Udit was the first one to jump, but we had multiple jumps planned for that day. If you ever hang out with Vijay Sethi, he's always game for multiple jumps in a day. Udit had an amazing time. It was then my turn. Meanwhile, Siddharth was also having an amazing time chasing us in the skies.
So the trip has come to an end and these uh, three days have been just magical and beautiful. We were highly privileged and blessed to pull off something like this over here and hopefully in the coming days, coming months, coming years, we would like to see this place buzzing with more jumpers, with more aero sports happening around here. Let's see, that's the plan. This trip was nothing short of being spectacular. I've always said that adventures are not just about individuals pursuing their passions, but rather it's the people around you who make it more fulfilling. Thanks to people like Vijay Sethi who are pro-sport and always supporting the community.